guys, it's me, Christina, and I have a book review on City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is book five in the Moral Instruments series, and this book was amazing. So, um, after, uh, City of Fallen Angels, um, they're, like, they, Clary leaves for, like, one second and then comes back and Jace is gone. And Sebastian is gone, too. So, and the Claver will look for them and he's also, Jace is also possessed by, like, Sebastian is in control of him. So, one night, because Clary's, like, the Clave has stopped looking, and Clary and the others want to still keep looking. And the Fairy Queen's like, well, I'll tell you information if you give me these fairy rings. And and she gives, she gets the rings, and then she sees Jace and Sebastian there. And I'm like, what the hell? And, well, at least we know he's alive, and then that was good. But he's obviously in control of Sebastian, and then there's, like, a lot of other issues, um, and Sebastian is in control of Jace, and, um, if you hurt Sebastian, you hurt Jace. And we've he comes to her bedroom one night, uh, Jace, and he's like, come with us, come with us, and she's like, no, um, and, it, Sebastian attacks Luke, and he gets hurt, like, badly hurt, and it's really bad, and they didn't even know if he was gonna live for a while, and, oh my god, it was just, scary because Luke is one of my favorite characters and oh and Simon is still kicked out of his place because his mother has gone crazy and his sister is trying to get in contact with him because but he doesn't want to be in contact with her because well he's a vampire and he doesn't know how she'll react and um, oh, and, uh, Clary takes the rings, but doesn't give them to the Fairy Queen, and they're, they're like these rings that, like, they mold to your finger, and, um, you can hear the other person's mind if they have another ring, and I'm like, wow, that's a little creepy, so Simon and Clary use this, and then she goes with Jason Sebastian, and I'm thinking the entire time, girl, you're crazy. Um, sometimes I like Clary, but she doesn't always use her head. And, uh, so she, she goes with them, and they have, like, this apartment that, like, moves from, like, place to place. So, first they were in Italy, Prague, Paris, and it's crazy and then possessed Jake Jace is like weird and he like is like not Jace and I I just didn't like fake Jace I like real Jace because he's funny and like he is not in like agreeing to like raise Lilith and do this like moral cup thing again and I'm just like uh no not a good idea um and the others are trying to find a way to separate Jace and Sebastian, and they find this sword, and they have to raise Raziel to get the sword, and because Simon is the only one that can, because he has the mark of Cain, and, oh, and I, there's other things, like side things, that I thought were funny, like, uh, Jace hates ducks. Like, Will hates ducks, uh, which is funny. And, uh, 
I love uh, Jordan and Maya. I'm so happy that they're together. It's so cute. And Izzy and Simon, they obviously like each other. But just, like, be together. Like, just do it. Like, they're just cute together. And, oh, and uh, he feeds off Isabel in one scene. And I, I thought that was really... It wasn't weird. It was just... He was just, like, afraid to, like, hurt her. And... Yeah. Um, oh, and they... When Clary, like, follows Sebastian one time and she gets attacked and he's like, well, we can... You have to, like, trust me and, like, blah, blah, blah. All that brother-sister crap that he is. And he's a liar and a psychopath. And he's more psychopathic than I thought. Especially in this, like, one scene. Um... I'm gonna go back and forth, and he's, like, like, towards the end, like, he's, like, uh, when we, he's, like, they're, like, fighting, and he is, like, we, he, like, kisses her, like, creepy, and he's, like, we should, uh, and, uh, Cleopatra, like, the, the Egyptians, like, married to strengthen the bloodline like what the hell is wrong with this guy he is literally batshit crazy and and it was so gross and he's like well we know you're i know you're good in bed like what the hell is wrong with this guy like first of all you don't say that to a person in general and uh first of all you don't say that to your sister um and yeah that's just really bad and uh oh and they get the sword from Raziel and like uh the angel like makes a deal he's like I'll give you the sword if you give me the mark and never raise me again and so they made that deal and yeah. Oh, and Alec is trying to reduce um Magnus's like his lifeline and that causes trouble because he's like Camille and oh, and the the little 13-year-old girl that Simon bit in uh City of Fallen Angels, she's a vampire um and she's like attacking people and she kills Camille and She's, like, Alec is there, and he's, like, she's, like, uh, oh, you're one of Simon's friends, and, um, and, uh, guess who killed Camille? I did. You're a little crazy, um, you're, like, a horror movie, seriously. Um, and, uh, so they get the sword, and, oh, and Real Jace comes back because, like, Sebastian is like, uh, I want you to kill this Iron Sister, and it, like, slashes through his, like, his thing that Lilith did in City of Fallen Angels, and it was just really, and then he's back for, like, only a few, and then he's like, I'm gonna turn myself in, and Clary's like, no, you're not, and then he call she calls Sebastian, and he's like, I would rather be dead than be in his control. And they get the thing, and then that's when, like, all goes to hell. So everyone goes, and then Alec and Isabel are like, we need to tell our mother. And they tell her, and she's like, I have to call the clave. I can't not. And they just go to where Clary and everyone else is and um, stop them. And... They have the sword, and Clary's like, give me the sword, and she, like, went full shadow hunter in this book, like, it was crazy, like, it was really cool to see her, like, full shadow, hun shadow hunter, I can't speak English, um, and she stabs Jace, and they're, like, forcing blood down her, and he she gets away, and then she stabs Jace, we didn't know if he was, like, alive or dead for a few minutes. Oh, and he glows now, and, like, he can, like, make his skin look, like, skeleton-like, and 
he like um he's like burnt a uh, silent brother and shocked Clary and he was like afraid to hurt her and that's why he didn't want to see her right away and I love this book it was so good but the ending was really creepy like angel wings <laughs> yeah really creepy and oh and Magnus and Alec broke up and it was just really sad and I hope they get to be get back together in Sanity of Heavenly Fire but I have to read Clockwork Princess first because I that's just how it goes like and yeah and because you like understand more I hear and yeah I gave this five out of five stars and Let's see what I'm currently reading. I am currently reading Clockwork Princess. And this one is really good. Um, I am on page 43. It's a weird chapter. And I'm also reading um, The Land of Stories and Wishing Spells by Chris Culver, the guy in Glee. I don't watch Glee anymore. Um, but it's really cool that he wrote this book. And it's really good like fairy tale stuff so I'll see you guys next time happy reading hope you guys enjoyed this review i will see you guys on my next video bye